Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be talking about artist Jenny Kendler and her artwork. This is Jenny Kendler, and she is well known as an artist who lives in Chicago, but grew up in Virginia, where her family began to set an example for what would be the focus of her artwork. According to the article The Natural Selection of Jenny Kendler by thechicagoreader.com, Jenny grew up in Richmond, Virginia in a solar home that her mother helped design. Her parents were both environmentalists as her mother's parents had been. The article then went on to say that as a child, Kendler wanted to be a naturalist artist. This is all rather ironic because it's what she became. It's like she knew what her future held, but she didn't get to where she is today without some work. Jenny went on to college at the Maryland Institute College of Art and studied everything from photography to other forms of art. After that, she went on to create tons of different art pieces that she shared in a variety of places and spaces, which is of course why we are talking about her in this video. Now that we've talked about Jenny and her start, what's so special about her art? Well, as mentioned, Jenny is an environmental activist, is instilled in her by her parents, and has always wanted to follow her footsteps. But how? As we all know, art can be used for a variety of purposes, but of course the way Jenny uses it is to display and talk about what she is most passionate about, the environment. Kendler is well discussed in this video and many articles as an environmental activist. And while she does do presentations and seminar type lectures about environmental issues, Jenny also uses another tool to talk about the environment, her art. Jenny's art comes in a variety of forms and all of them work to fulfill her purpose of talking about us and our connection with our environment, as well as our interaction with the environment we live in. An example of her use of art is her interactional art exhibit called Rooted in Soil. For this exhibit, Ms. Kendler set up camp outside of the DePaul Art Museum. Now, what exactly was her exhibit, and how was it used to talk about the environment or nature? Well, according to the article, Jenny Kendler brings environmental activism to DePaul Art Museum's Rooted in Soil exhibition by ChicagoTalks.org. Jenny Kendler stood outside the DePaul Art Museum alongside a silver hot dog cart handing out biodegradable balloons to passerby. Kendler filled up balloons with milkweed seeds and passed them out to the public along with a pin to pop the balloon. What was special about this though? Well, the balloons were filled with seeds for a plant called milkweed, which is special to Jenny's cause because according to the article, Kendler filled up balloons with milkweed seeds and handed them out to the public along with information about herbicide use, the decline in the monarch butterfly population, and a pin to pop the balloon and release the seeds. Milkweed is the only plant the monarch butterfly caterpillars can, can eat, and due to the prevalence of herbicides, there has been a huge loss of milkweed in agricultural fields, resulting in a decline in the monarch butterfly population. By doing this, not only did Jenny talk about the use of herbicides on our plants and its effects, but also about the consequences of our use of herbicides and brings awareness to her cause. It also begins to work to fix the problem. At this performance, Kendler stated, I understand that this is a drop in the bucket, but what it's really about is getting emotionally invested. I still believe in the power of individual people. This quote was interesting because it showed that Jenny is logical and knows that this was only a small start to what could be a huge change. While this is an amazing example of Kendler's work to not only educate the public but act to help her cause, there are many more examples of Jenny working to educate the public about our environment through art. Jenny not only does exhibitions or performances, but she also creates actual art. While there were so many interesting pieces, I only chose two. The first piece I wanted to look at, Jenny entitled Volcano Rabbit. The article Climate Change Volcano Rabbits from the Archaeological Series by JennyKemler.com states that the volcano rabbit is an endangered species that lives on high volcano slopes outside of Mexico City. The rabbits live at high altitudes, but increasing temperatures may drive them higher until there is eventually nowhere left to go. While this is only an introduction to the rabbits, what is the purpose of the art piece? According to the same article, Jenny Kendler, whose climate change volcano rabbits, 
features a woman stacking stones atop a mountain, trying to extend the rabbit's habitat upward, while they hop wildly around the mountain and even hop off of it. The painting is part of a series, Archipelago, inspired by the field of island biogeography, which studies bounded habitats, islands, but also places like mountaintops to understand how ecosystems develop in isolation. This is obviously important because as mentioned in the intro to the rabbits, their habitat is endangered by warming of the environment, and the piece connected us to the solution of trying to help protect their habitat. Another piece of hers that was interesting is entitled Wonder Comma, which is an art piece made out of what looks to be paper and pencil as well as the frames, of course. According to the article Installation View of the Extinction Portraits by JennyKellner.com, the piece features portraits of human beings wearing masks of extinct animals. Each person is drawn from a portrait taken in the year each animal became extinct. I decided to put this in the video for the purpose that I thought it was another classic use of Jenny's art. And through these portraits, it showcases that extinction is really happening, and that we as humans have a connection to the extinction of animals. While Jenny may not be someone everyone has heard of, she is such a unique and notable artist who has done some impressive work to talk about environmental issues and has raised awareness about them for a lot of people. I hope you've learned all you could learn, or could have wanted to learn, about Jenny Kemmler, and thank you for watching.